Hey, T Scott Kiko Tim with you guys, and today I have a tech video for you. Today we're gonna be installing the PNY SSD card on the PS5. Does it work? Is it compatible? Is it worth it? We're gonna find out after this intro. So guys, today we're going to test out the PNY SD card on the PS5. And yes, I did say PNY SD card on the PS5. You might be thinking to yourself, how? Well, to be honest, it's very simple. With this cable. I bought this cable on Amazon. It's a SATA cable to USB and it works just fine. It has no issues reading the card and sending the information to the PS5. Trust me, it's so simple and it actually works. I'm going to be showing you guys how I set it up. Now that we connected the SSD card on the PS5, we are going to go to storage, click on extended storage, and then we are going to start formatting the SSD drive. Now that we have our SSD card formatted, we are going to start to transfer again from the console to the extended storage. So I'm going to be moving FIFA 21 to the extended storage. This game is only 50 gigabytes, so it's going to save a lot of space on the console. This game plays at a fast pace, so I'm hoping this card has no issues playing it. It took FIFA 21 to get transferred from the console to the SSD drive in around 4 to 5 minutes. And now I'm going to play FIFA 21 to test out the SSD card to see if it can actually play on it. As you guys can see, there's no issue with the card. It reads the game so damn well, it has no issues, and the game plays so damn smooth. And now that we tested the SSD card on FIFA and it worked, we gonna try it on Warzone. That game is way heavier and demands way more. Trust me, I already tried doing this on a cheap external hard drive and it did not go well. The game was pretty much unplayable. It made Cyberpunk look really good compared to it, so it was that bad. It took Warzone 10 minutes to get moved from the console to the SSD card. Trust me, that's so damn fast. That's Call of Duty we're talking about. That takes forever for everything. Download, update, move, transfer, whatever. 10 minutes? I'll take it any day.
and as you guys can see, the game works just fine. The game looks great, it plays smooth, no issues. This card is completely compatible with the PS5 with the cable. So is the PNY SSD card worth it? I want to say yes. This SSD drive costs $27 in Amazon. You got to add $10 for the cable, so you're looking at $37 plus taxes, $40 bucks for it, right? And I know you can get a 1 or 2 terabyte card for $70 or $80. Bucks. I get that. But this card works if you don't want that much, since you buying 1 or 2 terabytes is not future proof, you know? because the, the next game that's going to be coming out the PS5, you can't download them on the external hard drive. It has to be on the console, so you can't move it around or anything. This is only for your PS4 games. And honestly, you're not going to play all of your PS4 games on the PS5. This is only for people who want to move 3 to 4 games like Warzone, 2K20, FIFA, to heavy games to the external hard drive so they can save more console space for Cyberpunk or the other games they want to play. Honestly, I'm going to keep this card for myself since I have 4 games that I want to move to this card and the performance and the speed on the card is so damn good so I'm keeping this card and if you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe it was easy to with you guys and I'm out. Happy holidays, see you guys next video. Bye.